great way for students to give each other feedback in text form is being able to take the power of a Google Doc. And what you're looking at right now is actually the document that we were using to create all of these videos for the different modules of these trainings. And I wanted to show you how this is how real work gets done. And that's why we need to be able to have kids take part in feedback loops where they are peer editing. So this is our document that we're creating all these videos for and the different modules for the different videos. And what you'll notice is a couple things. You'll notice over here to the right, we are using comments. And in those comments, we're able to give each other feedback over, hey, I did this. Is this what you're looking for? Does this meet your expectations? You'll even notice in a comment here, Tyler actually did the plus sign to the pgreensoup at gmail.com, who happens to be Patrick Green, to, for him to check in. So as kids are going giving feedback to each other, they can actually tag different students and say, is this what you're looking for? Is this what you meant? A fantastic way for kids to collaborate and give each other feedback on a document. And as we scroll down, you can see that it constantly goes back and forth. We have affirmations from the teacher, if you will, with Patrick putting this together and running this for us. The other thing I want us to remember is that you can have students, instead of editing over top of other students' work, they can actually give suggestions. So the way that this works in a Google Doc, and it also works in Word online, is that up here in the top right hand corner, I have edit rights to this document, but instead of editing the document, I can pull down and you will see suggestions. When I click on suggestions, now any edits I make, so if I come in here and I say, oh, I wanna get rid of these quotation marks, you'll notice that it doesn't actually get rid of the quotation marks. It puts a comment out to the side where it says, hey, Jeff is recommending that you delete this. Or I can come in here and I can say, mm, this doesn't fit here. And when I hit the delete button, it doesn't actually delete it. It's a, it's a suggestion to the author. I can do it the other way. I can come in here and say 15 minute activity, uh, focus on real world examples. And you'll notice that it highlights it in green and again, puts that comment off to the side. So I can have students peer editing each other's work, giving feedback without actually touching the original document that the author created. All I have to do is come up here to the top right hand corner and change this from editing to suggestion. A great little hack for kids to give each other feedback and collaborate on a document together.